Hey YouTube, it's Robert and I'm back here with a video today to tell you that you need a bidet for your bathroom. You need one, go buy one, and then come thank me in the comments. Uh, in all seriousness, the bidet is one of the most underutilized and I think underrated features that you can incorporate into your next bathroom remodel or just as a simple bathroom upgrade by itself. So in this video, I'm gonna talk real quickly about some of the benefits of having a bidet toilet seat in your bathroom, which one I specifically landed on after doing some of my own research into all of the different bidet options available, and then I'll show you how to install it because it's really a very quick and easy install. And most of the bidet toilet seat options that I looked at could be a do-it-yourself project with a couple of prerequisites going on in your bathroom, which we'll cover. This is an installation that could take as little as five to 10 minutes for you. Having a bidet is definitely a more hygienic alternative to just using toilet paper, and it has even been linked to helping with certain medical conditions. Somebody drew the comparison to me one time of you go outside, you fall in the mud, you grab a hose to rinse yourself off, you don't just grab a towel to wipe the mud around. So do with that image what you will, but having that water is a better and more efficient way for cleaning. It's also a more environmentally friendly option as we cut back a tremendous amount on the toilet paper usage, which also will save you a tremendous amount of money in the long run and really lead to the bidet ultimately paying for itself. Plus, you'll never find yourself in a panic if we relive another historic event like the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. Now, speaking of 2020, the reduced availability of toilet paper actually led to a huge increase in purchases of these bidet toilet seat attachments. And I have noticed going into a lot of homes to do remodels that I'm seeing more and more actual pre-built, plumbed in traditional style bidets, as well as bidet toilet seats, much more of like the Japanese style where it's actually a one piece incorporated directly into the toilet. So my own desire to have a bidet installed in my home actually dates back almost 10 years ago when I took a trip to Japan and I actually did see an electric Japanese toilet for the first time. Prior to that, I had only seen more of the traditional style bidets where it's a separate unit from the toilet. So I didn't even know that these things existed. And I was just really uh, enamored with the whole idea, enough so that I even took this picture on my cell phone. As you could see, it's not great quality, but it does represent that I was pretty wowed by this to have actually taken a picture of it. And I also thought it was really cool. It has that concave lid where you can uh, wash your hands with the water that then fills up the tank for the next flush. So again, a really efficient way to utilize water there. Now in America, we just historically have not been a country that utilizes bidets. So we oftentimes don't have that as part of the conversation when homes are built. There's not that separate plumbing and a separate space designated for a bidet. So as these new seats become available, what I love about them is that they don't require additional space in your bathroom. They don't require additional plumbing. There's something that we can hook up to most existing toilets relatively easily. So I did a ton of research as to what all the options were for these seats. And I found that there's a huge range in terms of price points as well as features that they offer. So I felt like this one here, the Alpha Bidet JX, was the best of both worlds for me. I would consider it kind of a mid-tier price point for something that offers us a tremendous amount of features. Now that's not to say that for some of you, some of the $50 quick attachments uh, would work really well, but I was looking for something that was a true electric bidet because of some of the additional features that you get once you have this thing plugged in. Now I also didn't wanna go out and spend several thousand dollars for a true Japanese toilet. I also looked at products from companies like Toto that offer $1,200 and $1,300 bidet seats. So I just wasn't looking to go into that realm. But this one at a price point of right at about $400, I felt like was very reasonable for all the features that it gives. And I know that because this is a portable attachment, whether it's at this house or I take it with me to a future house, I will get my money back out of this eventually. Here's all the reasons that I went with the Alpha Bidet JX. Number one, it had fantastic reviews. But in the reviews, one of the things that I was seeing come up a lot was the ease of installation and the compatibility with such a wide variety of toilets. Now the toilet that I already had in my bathroom is actually a one piece toilet with French curves on the side. So where a lot of bidets will only work well with two piece toilets because they don't always fit with the French curves on the one pieces, 
This one said that it actually fits with most one piece toilet models that even have a French curve. So when it was telling me like my exact situation should work, that was a huge benefit over a lot of the other options. Because this is an electric bidet, it also offers three warming features. One for the heated seat, a heated air dryer, and then the heated water itself. And it's a tankless heated water system. So it doesn't store a certain amount of water in a tank where that water's heated, but once it runs out, it switches to cold. This keeps a constant stream of warm water for you. It also features an LED nightlight inside the toilet seat itself. So as soon as it senses the room is dark, it flicks that on automatically for you. Not an absolute necessity, but it's a really cool feature that I personally like. And I did mention that it's something that you could take with you, but to me, that's a really great thing so that you know if you do invest the money into one of these and you decide you wanna change it to a different bathroom or you move all together, that's not a cost that you gotta leave behind in your old house. You can actually take this with you. Another thing I really like is this has a separate remote control. So instead of it being something that's attached to the side of the toilet, you can have it mounted up on the wall or over on the cabinet, kinda of out of the splash zone. So it is a more hygienic option in that regard as well. So I haven't personally found any drawbacks or anything that I don't like about this seat yet, but I will say that there are a couple conditions if you're gonna buy a seat like this, and that is because it's electric, you need an outlet near your toilet. You do need a GFI outlet, and if you don't have one, you may need to consider that there would be additional costs to have an electrician come out and install one for you, or you're looking at having to run some kind of an extension cord to wherever you do have a GFI outlet available. So there is a link to Amazon where you can purchase this exact model, and I'll also include a couple other alternatives for those of you who are maybe looking for something a little bit more basic. But let's go ahead and open this up, then we'll jump into the bathroom so you guys can see just how quick and easy this install is. All right, so we've got our main toilet seat tucked away in here. We're gonna get that out. And we've got our power cord that's attached to the toilet seat. And then we're gonna go into this box with all of our other accessory parts here. So we'll remove our toilet seat with its uh, power plug. And then we're gonna have our hose that's gonna hook into our water line. And we have our uh, mounting bracket with its components here, our batteries, and Lastly, our remote control, which even comes with a little 3M uh, tape on it so we can stick it to whatever we want to mount it to. And then last, we have our little T-valve here, uh, which is gonna be important for us in uh, hooking up our water supply into the bidet. One of the first things that you're gonna notice here is to the left of the toilet, I have an outlet. And I just recently had this GFI outlet installed so that I could actually use an electric bidet. So, uh, the total cost for me to have that done was $180 for parts and labor. Uh, now that's a cost that could vary dramatically depending on where you're at, uh, what your electrician charges as an hourly rate, as well as what needs to be done uh, because I was fortunate in being able to have a very quick and easy um, addition to this outlet as opposed to having to do any kind of major electrical work and cutting out wall space to run this. So that would be one of the first things that you would want to do is locate where you have access to a GFI outlet. And if you are going to need to have one installed closer to your toilet, um, then you're gonna to wanna to know what that cost is ahead of time. All right, so first thing we need to do is remove the old toilet seat. I'm gonna pop these little tabs off, get our screwdriver out here, and loosen these up. All right, and we've got both of our bolts out. Okay, and then where our two bolts are gonna to go to secure our toilet, we want those to be five and a half inches apart. Uh, for this particular model and that's pretty standard uh, But it's something that you want to double check and you can even double check that before you actually uh, Remove it you can just measure the center of both of your caps um, with the toilet seat still on uh, Just so that you'll know if you've got that distance and then we also want to have one and a half inches from the back of the toilet to the uh, holes so we're good there as well 
And like I said, these French curves that come down on a one piece could be problematic for some bidets. Uh, I'm fortunate enough, this being a toilet that I've uh, had since I bought the home um, and had otherwise no reason to replace, uh, it works with this particular bidet model. So I don't have to worry about changing it out to a two-piece toilet, but uh, those are the kind of things that you'd wanna check before you even order a specific bidet model. Coming down here, we want to go ahead and turn off our water supply line. We're gonna flush this so we can actually drain the tank. We've got it fully tightened over here so that we know we're not filling uh, our tank and we shouldn't be getting any real leak. We'll probably get a little bit of water coming out of here when we take this off so it'd be a good idea to have a towel on hand uh, underneath here just so you have easier cleanup. Um, but we've got the water uh, off to the toilet now. Now we're going to go ahead and disconnect our hose. And as you can see it is in fact letting some water out here from the tank. So next we're gonna go ahead and connect our T-valve. We've got our rubber seal inside of here. We're gonna connect that up to our toilet tank. And we just wanna hand tighten this only. And I'm going to go ahead and reconnect my water supply line. So the part that already has this angled end is going to connect to the actual bidet seat. So we want to make sure that we are connecting the straight end of the hose to our uh, T-valve here. We're going to go ahead and place our bracket down here. We want the arrow facing up and towards the front of the toilet. Now we're going to go ahead and take our bolts. We're going to remove the entire bottom part here from the top. Because we have a uh, toilet that is secured on these bolts from the bottom, uh, we're going to use these. If you have a toilet where the bolts are tightened from the top, you'll want to use the same bolts that you removed from your toilet seat. Uh, but here we've got our grommet washer and our nut down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide my bidet seat right into those brackets. I should just kind of line it up and then I'll be able to push. As I push a little bit, I should be able to test it by trying to lift up and making sure that it is caught in there. And I'm just gonna continue to push it back until I hear it kind of snap into place a little bit. And there's that snap that I wanted to listen to. Then I'm gonna take that other angled piece of our water supply line and connect that to the toilet seat. So what we're going to do now is we're going to reopen our water supply line and make sure that we don't have any leaks going, fill the tank up, and we're going to go ahead and plug our bidet in, uh, running the cord from the back into that GFI outlet so we can test everything out. All right, and we can hear the water's running. we got no leaks down below, so we're good there. All right, now to test it out, we're going to grab our remote control. I've already put the batteries in it. I can push any button to turn it on. But for us to test it, I need to put weight on this seat until I hear the sensor go. It's designed so that it will not just start squirting water out into your bathroom if you accidentally hit the button. So once we hear it beep, we can go ahead and push our button. You hit the rear, it's gonna go ahead and start coming out. And then we wanna block this. And as you can see, it's squirting water all over the place. We can test out the front one now. And for females, it has that front option. It's gonna shoot the beam out a little bit further and it's again starting to spray some water. 
Go ahead and hit stop on that. Now we're gonna test our dry function. Which opens up our dryer. And now it's blowing uh, actually quite warm air. Now if we wanted to go ahead and try uh, easy wash here. And it's extending it down. And it's shooting right towards the back of my hand. And then here's just a quick look at the night light feature, which is an automatic light that just turns on when it senses the room is dark. And then there's a look at it with the lid up. Now there's not any kind of installation involved. That light is built into the seat, so you don't have to worry about uh, doing any kind of wiring or separate electrical work for that light. There's nothing that you need to install. It's built right into the seat. And so now that the toilet is working, we've tested everything out. I can take and put my remote in its little case and just figure out where I would want to store that. I could go ahead and place it, you know, on the side of uh, the vanity cabinet, or you could put it up on the wall behind the toilet. You know, whatever makes sense for you, but it already comes with the double-sided tape for real easy installation if you want it mounted. Um, otherwise, you know, you could easily just put it on a, a shelf uh, or wherever you would want to have that stored, but obviously you'd want it nearby while you're using the toilet. So there it is guys, let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you've purchased this, please give us some feedback on your thoughts or if you have another model that you've purchased that you just absolutely love, let us all know about that in the comments down below as well. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit that like button for me and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me in the future. Again, my name's Robert and I'm here to help with all your home related needs. So until next time, enjoy your bidet and have a great day.